That's <laughs> so damn cool. What's going on you guys? My name is Kirby Downey. Welcome to another awesome SolarWorks video where I'll be showing you how you can use SolarWorks and one of these awesome 3D printers to create something awesome like this. This is a mechanical water droplet which pretty much does what the box says. It's a mechanism that kind of simulates a mechanical water droplet. Using a bunch of cogs at offset angles that push up and down these little pins it makes it seem like a really cool water droplet feature. Really, really cool and really easy to make as well, which is that's why we love 3D printing, though, isn't it? So creating objects like this in SolidWorks is super, super easy when it comes to using assemblies. What you can do is you can work out and make sure that your mechanism is going to work 100% before you go to printing. You can make sure that there's no collisions going on, nothing's getting in the way, everything is working smoothly like you planned. There's nothing more frustrating than printing an entire thing like this and then it doesn't work. So let's get into the awesome time lapse of me making this mechanical water droplet in SolidWorks and then using the assembly features to test it out. So to start off, I did the concentric circles. Add a little holes in it so that I can line up the rods. And then create the rods. From this, I can then create the frame and figure out the size of how everything's going to be and how it's going to work. I then started creating a few little planes in order to create the cogs. I created all the cogs in line in SolidWorks. It was just much easier to get their size ratios, everything correct this way instead of having to remember it each time. And then I could rotate them at a different stage. I then added some teeth. This was also to help align it when I do put on the shaft. Little teeth will just fit in that slot and then they'll hold that position that they need to hold. the teeth were completed I then just aligned everything in the orientation that they should be I then made the little foot that would sit on the end of the rod that's basically gonna help it moving up and down I made the water drop slightly longer pole created the shaft little cap on the end as well as well as the crankshaft the little handle that makes it work I then made little spaces in between all the cogs so that everything can sit where it needs to sit and it doesn't wobble around too much. I then saved every single individual component. I then brought this into an assembly, brought in the frame, then brought in the shaft, aligned all the cogs, I was only going to do one half because obviously if one half works the other half will work. tried it out to see if it will work. It does. Then we got off to printing it on our Prusa i3 Mark 2.5. Thank you. 
then we came to assembling it I actually used the failed frame so this is the first frame that I printed it failed I then printed again which worked but I used this failed frame to help me align everything and glue everything together I'm using just a basic hobby super glue with a solution called a kicker that just helps it dry faster and hold its place faster. And then one by one I put each little cog on. And then the wheel. Turn it upside down to put the little feet on. And did a bit of filing on some of the edges just to make sure they were smooth. And worked out great. So I really hope you enjoyed that and you learned a lot from that. I really enjoy doing symmetrical designs because it means you save half the time by designing only one half and mirroring the rest. This is the perfect example of this. As well as using assemblies to then test it and make sure that it works. If you have any questions please leave them down in the comment section below. If you want to make your own little mechanical water droplet or you want to make your own mechanism type thing and use SolidWorks, I would love to hear about it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. 3D printing is a technology that you learn to deal with failure and learn a lot from it. I've clearly learned a lot this week. And that's a wrap. Good job, everybody. By everybody, I mean me.